Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on jaundice. Jaundice is described as the yellowing of the skin, sclera, and mucous membranes. Let's look at the pathway of metabolism and elimination of bilirubin. Normal bilirubin production from HEM is derived primarily from the breakdown of senescent circulating erythrocytes. The HEM is converted to bilirubin through heme oxygenase enzyme, and then the bilirubin is converted to bilirubin through the bilirubin reductase enzyme. Next, extrahepatic bilirubin is bound to serum albumin and delivered to the liver. Then, there is hepatocellular uptake, and glucuronidation in the endoplasmic reticulum generate bilirubin, which is water-soluble and readily excreted into bile. After that, the bile flows through bile ducts and reaches the duodenum and then colon. The gut bacteria deconjugate the bilirubin and degrade it to colorless urobilinogens. The urobilinogens and the residue of intact pigments are excreted in the feces, with some reabsorption and excretion into urine. There are a lot of conditions associated with jaundice, and they can be divided into prehepatic, hepatic, and posthepatic causes. Prehepatic causes are the causes that occur before the liver, such as hemolysis due to malaria, hemolytic anemia, drugs or toxins, and autoimmune disorders. Hepatic causes are those conditions within the liver cells. The more common ones are alcohol, malignancy, viral hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, cholestasis, or drug-induced, such as paracetamol. The less common hepatic causes are primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis, Gilbert syndrome, Krigler-Najjar syndrome, and autoimmune hepatitis. For post-hepatic causes, there are mainly conditions causing obstruction, after the liver, such as gallstones, pancreatic cancer, biliary atresia, and cholangiosarcoma, which is cancer of the bile ducts. For its mechanism, jaundice is caused by a buildup of excess bilirubin which is deposited in the skin and mucous membranes. Jaundice is not clinically evident until serum bilirubin exceeds 3 mg per liter. Defects along the bilirubin pathway lead to increased bilirubin and jaundice. For prehepatic jaundice, it is due to excessive breakdown of red blood cells and the release of unconjugated bilirubin, causing jaundice due to unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. For intrahepatic jaundice, the liver's ability to take up bilirubin, bind, conjugate, and secrete it into the bile canaliculi is impaired. This can be due to either acquired damage to or necrosis of liver cells, or genetic deficiencies in the bilirubin pathway, such as Gilbert's syndrome and Dubin-Johnson syndrome. In Gilbert's syndrome, there is genetic abnormality of the enzyme glucuronyl transferase, this reduces the liver's ability to conjugate bilirubin. As a result, unconjugated bilirubin cannot be excreted properly, and hyperbilirubinemia occurs to a level that eventually causes jaundice. Whereas in Dubin-Johnson syndrome, there is genetic defect in a transporter CMOAT, that stops conjugated bilirubin from being secreted effectively, and bilirubin rises, resulting in jaundice. For drug-induced liver injury, a huge number of drugs can cause liver injury and result in jaundice. A variety of mechanisms have been proposed. These include formation of reactive metabolites, bile salt export pump inhibition, leading to a buildup of bile salts in hepatocytes, drug transporter or metabolizing enzymes modulation, mitochondrial toxicity, oxidative stress, modulating adaptive or innate immune reactions, biliary epithelial injury, and histone acetylation. This table shows the mechanism of action of the drugs that can cause jaundice. Augmentin stimulates an immune-driven response, especially in patients with genetic predisposition. Valproate causes mitochondrial injury and histone deacetylase inhibition. Cyclosporin causes bile salt pump inhibition. Flucloxacillin causes bile salt pump inhibition, an immunological hypersensitivity reaction associated with patients with HLA-B5701. And paracetamol, toxic doses saturate normal metabolism, more substrate is shunted down 2 Cypriot pounds E1 metabolism, resulting in excess NAPQI. Glutathione is depleted and cannot neutralize NAPQI which is toxic to liver cell membranes. Next, for post-hepatic jaundice. It is caused by a blockage of bile ducts, preventing the excretion of conjugated bilirubin. Bilirubin backs up through the liver into the bloodstream. The two main signs in post-hepatic jaundice are dark urine and pale stool. For dark urine, in healthy people, unconjugated bilirubin is bound tightly to albumin and cannot be excreted in the urine, because it cannot fit through the glomerulus of the kidney. 
However, in patients with obstructive jaundice, conjugated bilirubin binds less tightly to albumin, and may be excreted in the urine, giving it a dark tea color. Whereas for pale stool, bile duct obstruction does not allow excretion of bilirubin into the intestines. Therefore, the stool does not accumulate the bile pigments that normally make it dark in color, and the patient will have a noticeably pale bowel motion. This is a flow chart showing how post-hepatic conditions lead to jaundice, such as gallstone or pancreatic cancer. There is some obstruction, either intrinsic blockage of bile duct due to gallstones, or extrinsic compression of duct due to tumor. This obstruction causes buildup and backup of bilirubin. Accumulation and deposition of bilirubin in tissues then causes jaundice to occur. That's all for this video. Thank you.